Hey there, and thanks for coming back to my channel. This is going to be, I'm going to try to do a series every week after the Ultimate Fighter 24 TV show. Call it the Ultimate After Show. Just kind of give my take on uh, what went on on that episode. Um, I'm actually looking forward to this season of uh, Tough. I know a lot of people think it's played out, uh, and it really has been in the past, but I think having all these champions from different organizations is going to breathe a little bit of new life into it. It's kind of made it interesting that the winner uh, is going to get an immediate title shot uh, against the the best fighter in the world, you know, the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter, uh, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. Um, what I do like about this is they're giving Demetrius love. You know, they're actually, uh, even though the show is about the fighters uh, that are trying to get the title shot, it's showing that Demetrius... It's putting him in a, a, a light, you know, they're, they're shining some light on him. A lot of people might not know who he is because he's, you know, the uh, flyweight champ. But, man, they're, they're building him up. You know, he's, he's the baddest dude on the planet, which, you know, at his weight class, he, he's, he is. You know, he's the, the most amazing. I mean, he's run through his division. They actually have to go out and search for a, a guy to compete with him. So that just boosts up his stature which is amazing and good for him uh, what I do like about this also all these guys are professional you know they're all champions from different organizations um, in the past it seems like some fighters have just wanted to get on the ultimate fighter j just to be on TV you know and kind of just to show out um, but these guys really are there to win uh, not only uh, to get a shot at the title of the UFC title but as kind of a respect thing for their their organizations to show that hey I am a world champ and our organization is you know top notch and they're um, they're professional you know they're not going to go in there and uh, you know they already kind of know how to fight you know some of the other seasons the guys really maybe just knew how to wrestle or they only knew a certain style but they weren't re really well rounded and so this I think brings a uh, some better fights actually as as shown in the first uh, episode uh, the first fight between man I forget the guy's name I'll have to look it up here uh, Pantoja and uh, Moreno I think it was uh, good scrap you know and um, it shows that Pantoja really uh, knows how to fight because he was actually I think losing that first round you know he was getting lit up and so in the second round, he knew, he said, I got to do something different here because <clears throat> my stand-up, you know, it's, it's not taking this guy out, and he's actually tagging me. So he went for, you know, his bread and butter, which is jiu-jitsu, so he went for that takedown, uh, got, the, got the back, uh, switched to the back, got the back, and then sunk in the rear naked, you know, and, and he, he squeaked out a win, you know, a tough win. Um, so <clears throat> that shows that, you know, he, he's got some ring savvy. Uh, in the second fight, Kai Car France, man, for 100, uh, whatever, 125 pounders, he hits hard, you know, because the other guy, Terrence Mitchell, which he's kind of a country dude, you know, but he he had five inches height on him, and he had a seven inch reach advantage, so, you know, you would think you would naturally lean towards the guy with the, the height and the reach, you know, but... Kai showed, man, that, you know, he's out of a uh, Tiger Muay Thai in uh, Phuket, uh, Thailand. And those guys are hard, man. Those guys know how to fight and know how to dig deep. But this guy hits hard. Um, you know, the other guy, Mitchell, I, I just don't think he understood distance. Um, y you know, and, and they were actually even showed on the show how to, you know, trying to tell him how to, you know, use your length. You know, don't, you know, you got seven inch reach advantage. Don't throw, like, looping punches, you know, because that shortens the distance, you know. And so they were teaching him that, you know. So I was thinking maybe he would, you know, because uh, Kai is small, man. He's 5'5", five, five, you know. But, man, he packs a punch, and um, he, he's shown that he's a contender. And if this first episode is showing anything that the matchups don't matter, you know, because it was one versus – or. Yeah, one versus 16, which was a really good fight, even though the 16 did lose. And the other one was eight versus nine. So th those numbers really don't, the, the seedings really don't matter. You know, these dudes are in there ready to bang. 
What I like about the season is it's kind of cool. It reminds me of the old Street Fighter, you know, where they had, I'm me talking about old Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2 or whatever, where they had all these guys from around the world to see who's the best. It's kind of that way. They got guys from uh, uh, Asia, from Africa, from uh, Australia, or New Zealand. Um, I think, I don't know if they have any guys from the Europe. But, um, I mean, they got guys from America, Mexico, Brazil. So it's amazing. You know, it's like a street fighter. You know, bring the best from around the world, have them fight it out, and see who can face the ultimate champ, you know, Demetrius Johnson. So a lot of people, you know, they think the, the Ultimate Fighter series is played out, but I think this is going to refresh it a little bit. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to this uh, season. I think it's going to be fun, you know. And I, I suggest everybody that, you know, give it a shot, you know, watch it. Uh, I watch them all, you know, even if they suck. I, what do I got to do on Wednesday night? <clears throat> you know, there's not really much that I want to watch on TV. So I'll watch these anyways. But um, I, I actually, this first episode, I liked it a lot more and than in past couple seasons. Because uh, I know last season, I, I started watching it, for, you know, and then... I stopped watching it. I still recorded them on my DVR, but I let three, four episodes go by, and I didn't really care. It was just kind of played out. Uh, but then I went back and watched them to catch up before the, the Ultimate Fighter finale. Um, but anyways, if you don't uh, watch this, it's just been one episode, so catch it next Wednesday. Uh, looks like it's going to shape up to be a good season. Um, tournament format. And the winner gets Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson December 3rd for the championship. So look for that. Uh, thanks for watching. If you did watch the show, please let me know what you guys think about the, the, new, the format and the different champs from around the, the world. Um, who you guys are looking forward to seeing fight. Um, there you go. Thank you for watching once again. Until next video.